Hello, this is Joe Neville and this is BGP In Depth. In this third video I'm going to be looking at how to inject prefixes into BGP and I'm going to be explaining why you may want to think twice about just redistributing all your routes directly into BGP. If we think about how routes get into the RIB, the routing information base of a router or a switch, we have the different ways that the device can learn about prefixes so we've got BGP OSPF statics and directly connected so what you need to think about is think about the statics and the directly connected interfaces so the interfaces that you put IP addresses on think of them as a different source um, alongside BGP and OSPF to learn routes that can then be placed into the routing table that will help you um, to grasp what we're doing when we bring routes into BGP. So one of the main ways of bringing routes into BGP is with the network statement. Now this is where we configure the specific prefix and the mask. It is a controlled way of bringing prefixes into BGP but it's quite burdensome because of the amount of configuration that's involved. You have to put the specific prefix and the specific mask in. So if you've got lots to bring in this can be a way that creates quite a lot of configuration. To illustrate this point we've got our different sources for routes. With the network statement we import the specific prefixes and I'll be showing you that in a moment. So in this diagram I've got prefixes coming from static, so static routes going into BGP. Now with the redistribution this is where we dump prefixes from a status source it is easy but it's uncontrolled if we don't use filters so in this case if we were going to redistribute our static routes into BGP rather than picking out specific routes we just dump all of them in now you can use filters but the default that I see a lot of people doing they do a redistribution and they don't use route maps so they're essentially dumping all of the routes from that source into BGP and I'll be going on to explain later in the video why that's not such a great thing. Okay so here's the network that I have been using for this video series so I've got three virtual routers this is all running on my laptop what we're going to be looking at is VSR101 I'm going to be injecting routes onto this device and we're going to have a look at what that does to the BGP table over on VSR102 across iBGP. Here I've logged into the VSR101 and 102. Here's the BGP on 101 and there's 102 as you can already see I'm using a network statement here which was from the previous configuration so let's just delve into that as you can see it's under BGP then it's actually in the address family so the key point about the network statement is that it needs to be the specific mask so it's the specific prefix and the mask to inject it this network so it's a 32-bit subnet mask there and then you can see that with the network statement if we look over at 102 look at the routing table you can see that prefix so to just prove that on 101 if I take off that network So that will disappear from over on 102. As you can see, it's gone. Now I'll put it in, but with the wrong mask. So nothing over on 102. Put it in with the correct mask there we go straight away we can see it that counts as a directly connected because it's a configured interface on 102 so that's coming from a directly connected interface so let's do a network statement for a static route so what I'm going to do is configure 101 with two static routes
just put that to a null interface. 25, 0, 0, 1, 32, and 0, 0, 2, 32. So again, if I do the specific mask, we see that straight away over on there. Now, what about if I choose to redistribute? So we use the import root and we you can see the different sources that you can choose there. So we're going to take in our roots from static. Now if we look over on the VSR 102 SPGP routing table, we can see that we've got 25001 and we've got 25002. And if you look closely, you can see that dot one has got an I here and dot two has got a question mark and that's actually the origin so that's a BGP attribute if you look up here you can see what that means so the I means IGP and the question mark means incomplete BGP has a decision making process for if it's got multiple paths to the same prefix so there's a list of different steps to this which I'll be dealing with in later videos Essentially what it means is that BGP will pre prefer a path where the prefix is known from an IGP rather than incomplete. One of the things when we're doing redistribution, I did say that it does dump all of the prefixes into the BGP table, which it does. You saw others come in, these ones here, the dot three, so I didn't need that to come in, but it, I've got a static on VSR 101 one so it appeared you can filter you can filter using uh, root policy in particular so that's uh, goes by another name of a root map and that's where you can do some very intricate filtering now what I see a lot of people that aren't that experienced with BGP they want to get their roots their prefixes into the protocol and start advertising them so they just put on redistribution so they import roots so they'll import static or they will import from direct or from OSPF and they'll just dump all the roots into BGP so I'd like to show you why that isn't such a great idea sometimes let's refer back to the diagram what I'm going to do is on the VSRs 101 and 102 I'm going to import my directly connected so these two links here and these WAN links, all of that's going to go into BGP. Now before we do that, have a look at the BGP table on each side. Okay, so we've got, what, five prefixes and five prefixes. We'll do an import root direct. Now we check the routing table over this side and we can see that we've got connections between 101 and 102 injected and we've got 101 to 1 so 201's WAN link there what if we do this we need to be in the address family hmm so you can see that there's a lot of um, new prefixes in there say so this is one of the connections between 101 and 102 so the slash 30 so we're originating one ourselves but we're also learning it from our remote end so because they're both dumping all of their directly connected routes in both are advertising to each other the connections that are already directly connected and you can see that here also in 101 so just with that small amount of links if we were to import the routes directly all the directly connected routes with quite a modest number of routes you can see how we're dumping a lot of prefixes into BGP just doing an import just redistributing from the directly connected is not such a great thing you can see how your BGP table can soon get out of hand and you really need to 
think about using the network statement or using a root map and some filtering. Where these considerations are particularly important are if you're planning to use BGP in the data center with a leaf spine network such as we can see here. Typically these will be built using the loopbacks of the leaf to act as the source and destination for our VXLAN tunnels and what I see is a lot of people go quick and dirty with their configurations and they just set up their BGP and they do an import route direct so that they can dump their loopbacks but they're also dumping all of these links between the leaf and the spine and those aren't needed this guy here doesn't need to know about all of these links over here he just needs to be able to build his tunnels for VXLAN so he needs to know about loopbacks he doesn't need to know about these interconnections so the leaf nodes they don't need to know about all of these links and that's what you'll get if you use import route direct so you should be aware of the benefits of using the network statements over the import route so don't just dump everything into BGP it can soon get out of hand and if the configuration overhead of using the network statement is too much then you should think about using some off-box tools for your configuration management which is the kind of thing that a lot of large-scale customers do hand your IPAM over to a product such as HPE's IMC okay that was a look at injecting prefixes into BGP using the network statement and redistribution using the import root statement and why you should reconsider in certain circumstances dumping all of your routes directly into BGP using redistribution I hope you liked the this video please do like comment and subscribe to the channel that's all for now thanks for watching my name's Joe Neville and goodbye